Hey YPTC, uh, welcome back to another episode of Smokestacks, brought to you by YouTube. <coughs> Pardon me, I just walked in the door, just got off work, and just walked in the door and uh, rem remembered that I, I needed to get in here and get out another video um, while I had a chance. Um, I uh, got my package uh, from uh, the Tin Society, <coughs> pardon me, about a week ago, and uh, in it was this uh, Savinelli 140th anniversary. So, you know, I thought we'd give that a try. Uh, and of course, we're going to load up the duck again. Um, now, you know, when, when you get these from the Tin Society, you know, it comes in uh, these little pouches. I'd say that's probably an ounce or so. Let me see if I can get this to do its thing. Anyhow, um, so I thought we'd give it a try. I've never tried it before, never had it. Um, Well, it's a, it comes out just about right uh, out of this pouch uh, as far as moisture content goes. Looks like it has a lot of Virginia in it, bright Virginia. Can you get a look at that? I don't know if I'm, yeah, it looks like it's focusing in there. Um, looks pretty tasty. I uh, hoping my battery lasts on my camera. I got a new lens for it and I was outside early this morning taking shots of the moon <laughs> just to just to check out the lens. Mmm. Mmm. Smells tasty too. A ribbon cut. And if it tastes as good as it smells, it's going to be going to be a good one. I may have to order a tin of it if it's any good. Um, I didn't check prices on I haven't my last couple of videos um, if y'all like that if you, I don't mind checking prices um, if you want me to continue doing that shoot me a, a message and let me know because uh, I do not mind at all um, I just have it in my last couple of videos All right, let's get the duck fired up. Yeah, I need a new chair bad. It is kind of heavy on the Virginia. I mean, it's not bad though. Boy, it is a robust, full flavored blend. I'll give you that.
I'll tell you what, man, if you're a Virginia guy, you're gonna go crazy for this. This is a, um, definitely a blend you wanna sip on. Uh, if you hit it too hard, you're gonna get some tongue bite. Um, it does have Oriental uh, Turkish in Virginia, Kentucky Oriental Turkish Virginia. It says it has a. Uh, I I printed this off from uh, TobaccoReviews.com. Um, the blender is uh, Jeremy Reeves, manufactured by Cornell and Dill. Cornell and Dill. Uh, Virginia based. The flavoring says a floral essence, fruit, and citrus. Well, I can kind of see the citrus. Um, I don't get the floral uh, essence. at all um, but the citrus yes yeah okay maybe a light 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 floral I'll go along with that. Um, it's kind of mellowed out now. All right. You know, I've said in my previous videos, I'm more into the heavy Latakia and Perique um, with a little bit of Virginia and, and Burley because uh, I like the rich and smokiness but um, for a, um, a stout Virginia blend this is pretty good And I can see where, because I am getting the citrusy and the flower notes to it. Um, not so much in the room note, but in the flavor. Let me uh, go over the description here. Um, Savinelli 140th anniversary commemorating 140 years of pipe making tradition Savinelli's 140th anniversary blend is an elegant mixture of red and bright Virginias spiced with orientals and choice dark fired floret from Italy and infused with a subdurable note of citrus and wildflowers for a unique and satisfying smoke. The special floret used in this blend are staple in uh, Italy cigar production and are all grown and double fermented on a singular farm in the Tuscan uh, Tiber Valley region of Italy 
a location recognized for its history and tradition of tobacco cultivation dating back to the 17th century. Um, and like I said, it is ribbon cut and it's packaged in three ounce tins. Pretty good, not too bad. It's very good. I think if you're a Virginia lover, uh, you'll definitely, definitely enjoy this blend. Um, for me, it's a, it's an all right blend. I mean, if I was giving it a star rating, uh, you know, uh, out of four, um, I would give it a three. And that's pretty good for me because, like I said, I I, I will smoke a uh, a full Virginia. Um, usually, I like some age on it though. But this is pretty good. Uh, in fact, I I may even buy me a ten of it. Um, just because it's, it's, it's that good, you know? And for somebody who's not a big fan of a, of a robust Virginia, um, this is pretty good. I'd say the room note's tolerable. As far as the nicotine content, I really couldn't tell you. I've been up drinking coffee all night, you know, so. Um, one thing that I haven't noticed, and it may just be me, but it seems like I'm getting just a little bit of, you know how when you smoke a, uh, an aromatic that's heavily cased, and you get a little bit of stickiness, you know. Um, I'm getting a little bit of that. My pipe's gurgling a little bit. It, it may just be my pipe too. Weather sucks, man. It dropped down to 22 degrees last night. Can you believe that? Here, I thought we were done with this. Yesterday sucked. It rained and was cold all day. But hey, at least it's dang near over with, right? We get halfway through April, maybe towards the end of April, it'll be like, yeah. And I did cook out. I told y'all I would. I cooked burgers on the grill um, Friday, Friday afternoon delicious that's the best part of, of warm weather you know weekend off cold beer and cooking on the grill pretty tasty pretty tasty it looks beautiful I mean 
it, it, it really does. It looks, I don't know if you, yeah, it looks beautiful. Savinelli, 140th anniversary. Well, that's it. Very tasty, robust, and enjoyable. Um, I think you'll like it. If, like I said, if you're a Virginia lover, um, I think you'll really like it. Um, and the that uh, top note on it, you know, it says it had that little floral essence. It does, um, but you gotta look for it. I mean, it don't just jump right out at you. Um, you do have to look for it. Um, if you sit back in your chair, relax, and puff on your pipe, you'll find it easy. Um, um, it's very good, very good. That's all I got to say about it. All right, I'm getting out of here. And uh, I might fix me a drink or have a Guinness. <laughs> uh, it's been a long night. Well, that's it. I'm out of here. Have a very good weekend. And uh, oh, I wanted to mention um, to my my subscribers, um, and especially the ones that follow me follow me um, every weekend. I really appreciate it. I really do. And. Uh, don't be afraid to shoot me a message, you know, um, especially um, about those prices. You know, if you, if you want me to include prices um, uh, at the different locations, you know, um, I'm more than happy to do that. So anyhow, I'm getting out of here. Like I said, have a good weekend. Bye-bye.